Hi, it's Ronnie, and Merry Christmas to everyone. Yeah, hopefully this will be up before the end of the day. But it is the Christmas in December. And I'm going to scrap three photos of my grandson, Jason, and Bo. Bo's the dog laying on the ground. And I'm going to do a little bit of punch art, paper piecing. Um, and I'm going to use that die set. Well, not the die set. I'm going to point out the one. That's the Santa. Of course, the Santas I made do not look like that. I didn't like it too much. It came free <laughs> with some others that I ordered. And I'm pointing out the ones I'm going to use on those two die sets. I went ahead and punched out pieces. And I'm going to forget to show you most of the punches that I used. I did show you the dies, though. Well, most of them. I'm going to use two other die sets later that I'm going to forget. That's the head on that little um, reindeer. I'm not using the muzzle. I'm just going to use the head. And I'm going to ink it around the edges and where the eyes are at. And the eyes are one quarter inch punch, like the regular punch that you'd find in the office. And I'm just going to put them in the spots that I darkened. And there's like a line on there. If you run it through and get it embossed, it's darker. But you can still see it. And I just ran it through the regular one. See, I did show a couple. I forgot that. <laughs> but most of them I'm going to forget about. And I'm using the smallest heart on the nose. And I'm putting it all the way down at the bottom of the muzzle. This heart punch, I went ahead and punched two because I wanted a little more than half. And I did use another punch. And you will see it on... One that I practiced on, and it was funny. I started doing this and trying to practice and make them. And I thought, oh, I'm going to turn the TV on because, you know, I like watching TV and glancing up and listening to it. And right over there on the right, when Roku came up, there was the big red dog. And I am doing this layout for Debbie Pierce because she asked me to do a big red dog. And I asked her if he had to be big because I kept trying to figure out a way to make him big with what I had. And she said, no, he didn't have to be big. I know she has the two reindeer die sets because she mentioned that in a comment. So I wanted to make sure I used them. And you can use any heart punch for the ears or you can just make them by hand. And that's the body, well, not the body, the belly of the other reindeer. And I started to just put it on the back part. And I started thinking that on the photo I was looking at on TV, that it looked kind of like his shoulder. So I cut the point out. I was going to leave it because I was thinking the tail coming out, but I'm adding that other part so you can see his haunches in the background. And that came off that snowman die. I don't know if Debbie has that one, but it came off of it. But I was, I was telling you about the Roku. Anyway, I thought, okay, I'll just leave it on that screen and look at that and make this. Well, I forgot about the screensaver. Well, when I noticed that, I tried to go back and of course it had something else there. So I am kind of going from memory of the few glances that I did looking up there at it. These are going to be legs that are sticking out to the side. He looks like his tail's in the air and he's wagging it and his nose is on the ground and his legs out at the side. Well, after I got done with this, <laughs> and, you know, of course, I... I am using the ATG the last few times in case I want to move something, but I thought maybe I should have uh, put his front paws, legs up a little higher, but I'm going to just go ahead and go with it because my layout's done and, and my banner is going to be crooked and I did not notice that until I was in here and yeah. It's going to be crooked, and I guess it's going to stay because as much stuff as I have on it, I think it would be more work than I really want to do trying to take it off 
because I'm afraid I'll tear up my ivy. I put the legs just sticking out and like I said this part from the Santa I was using for the back end and like his haunches I think that's what they call them <laughs> uh, are kind of sticking up just a little bit there and he's going to have his tail going to go up their wagon. I used, well, it's not a whole circle. I just cut out part because I knew I didn't need all of it. And then I used it for the tail. I didn't have it too long. You know, it looked like it was going to be because I used the one inch circle, but most of it's glued on the back. I did do this stitching mostly off screen. I thought I'd finish it off on here. I used my Creative Memory Circle Cutter and cut three layers. And I did gut them so I'd have them for like under the photo and behind the banner. And yeah, see where it's gutted. And they are just layered on there. Two blues, a lighter one and a darker one. And that is pink fresh paper that I'll be using. And the main reason for that is because I was going to have it in my mind that I would use darker paper when I was going to make this, but then I got to thinking about the dog, and it being chocolate brown, it wouldn't show up very good. But I stitched around it with embroidery thread that my friend Colleen sent me, and yeah, I was thinking about doing one already, well, this layout, with the half circle, and then she sent me some red, and I have some kind of a off red it's kind of got a little bit of burnt orange in it or something and this was so much better because it was you know actual red and i put so much on the circle that i have to put foam tape on the right hand side there my camera shut off here so yeah but it don't look crooked looking at it now on the screen but it kind of looks crooked in person but like i said i am going to go with it those are the two other dogs that I uh, did practicing. I decided I wanted one there at the top, looking up over the top of the photos. And I will put a couple of paws on there. And if you look over to the left, right at the corner at that tray, there is a little tiny flower punch. And that's what I use for the paws. Only I'm going to round it off at the top and just use three of the points. I put foam tape behind the little dog so it'd stand out because I'm going to kind of put the vine behind it and on down the banner. Now I use the same parts for the other two. I think I started to say that and forgot. <laughs> Got sidetracked. But I just used them in different ways and I hand cut the legs on that one and the heart that I used is a different heart. But I thought I'd do a couple of different ear styles in case she wanted to do something different to show what different hearts could do with making the ears. But other than the ears, the heads are basically the same, except right under the nose, I took a little half inch oval and put like a tongue or a the bottom of his chin it's brown too so it could be either one i did ink it in the dark brown well i think it's chocolate brown and it made it darker but i put it on them but i didn't put it on the one that's got its head down on the ground i started to but it looked kind of funny so i didn't and i forgot to highlight this when i was making it so here i'm doing it after i got it on the layout and the oh oh i had to add just a little bit more ink right between the eyes and going down the bridge of his nose the vine that i used is diamond press and i did do it ahead of time and i inked it well it's lilac ink that i used and i inked it three times and it don't even look like it's really got any ink on it now each time that I inked it, it looked really dark, and then it just soaked it right up. So there wasn't much sense in showing that I inked it. 
and then I used a 1 8 inch punch for the berries on there. They actually punch out like little holes there, but I decided to put berries on top of the little holes instead. Especially since it's a holly vine. But while I'm adding the vine to the layout, I want to mention that down there below will be the other gals that are doing the Christmas in December. And they're supposed to upload different times all day long because everybody had different things planned. I had mine planned for her earlier, but things just kept coming up. I kept getting company. And so, yeah, not so early. There are some puffy stickers in there, and I'm using one that says Christmas morning because this is Christmas morning. And we were having breakfast at my daughter's house. And we had all ate, and I was watching Jason. And he was over there with Bo, and Bo was in the floor. And he watched him for a little while. Then he was lifting on his leg. And so I started taking his picture because he was kind of looking like he was examining him. And then he lifted his leg higher. Then I heard him giggle. And he says, he's alive. Then it hit me what he was talking about. An elderly lady had passed away at their church. And she had an elderly dog. And nobody to take it so they took it and that poor little thing they had to carry it outside to go to the bathroom and just plain baby it and they only had it probably I would say maybe six months before it passed away too and it had just recently passed away so he was worried Bo wasn't alive and he was checking him out to make sure and he was really happy when he found out he was and he just kind of sits back and watches him after that and eats his sucker. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and document it. And I'm not putting the title like it, though. I'm putting the title as Sweet Love at Christmas. Because he was really sweet sitting there watching him after that. And that's all he wanted to do is sit there watching, make sure he was okay. But if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But I hope you like it, Debbie, and it helps you make one. Like I said, I tried to use some things that I knew you had. But I hope you all are having a merry and blessed Christmas. Have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.